Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Lotro with me Valfellian. Last time we explored most of the Midgewater Marshes and today we're picking up where we finished last episode and we're going to explore the Freeland Homesteads, the housing area. Um, so the thing about housing is there's three different types of houses. There's the basic houses which cost about a gold, a gold and a half, something like that. And they basically, for the Breland ones, they, these are different depending on which racial homesteads you're in, but the Breland ones look like that, like a little uh, cottage. All these bits and pieces this gentleman has in his garden are stuff he's uh, put in there. They don't come with a house. Um, there we go, there's another cottage. Uh, there we go, there's a uh, deluxe house. Deluxe houses cost about seven and a bit gold. Um, and they are bigger, like so. They have uh, extra rooms and extra storage. Um, that's a bit of a spoiler because I've got one of those in my garden. There's my cottage over there just across the river. But then my kinship's one is this big bad boy over here. And kinship houses are the biggest one, but they can only bought, be bought by a kinship um, and not by. Um, an individual player. So the first thing you're going to see when you uh, come to our kin house is this great big bronze dragon statue which takes up a huge amount of space. Look at that. And we had to kill that dragon to get that. We had to kill that dragon seven times to get that. Um, so what else have we got in our garden? Let's turn off the UI. Um, Cranlook's hammer from defeating a guy called Cranlook. Just because it's small and it fits in there. We've actually still got his hand attached to it, but we uh, we, we de-handed him. Um, we've got the skull of Thorog, who is another dragon. We, we, we hate dragons, we kill those often. Uh, Thorlax blade, we killed a Balrog to get hold of that one. Um, so that's pretty cool. We've got some uh, chickens in our chicken coop there. They're just wandering around, scratching whatever. There's some uh, more chickens in the side there. They've got the sunroof open. Um, we have fireworks. I'll zoom out for this one. So we can launch various types of fireworks. That's got a little uh, induction bar, but you can't see it because I turned the UI off. There we go. Obviously the orange ones, green ones will do the same, but in different colours. Um, got a little dig site over here, we found some buried treasure. Uh, so we'll have to see what that is at some point. We've got an ominous pool, which, let's be honest, it's it's looking a bit filthy. But uh, what's in here then? If we uh, interact with this. It's invisible! That's not useful. There we go. <laughs> Watcher in the water and he's strangling us with his tentacles. And he's going to throw us up in the air and make us do loads of flips and stuff. I could do this all day just clicking on this and watching his chrome while hobbling around. I did a nice little flip and then just like land on the, our face there. Boing. Um, I really could do all that all day, but I'll not do that all day. Uh, we've got a theatre stage just in case we want to uh, put on any shows or performances and uh, everyone can sit on this lovely hill there which uh, makes quite a nice seating area um, have we got any more bits outside I haven't shown I think that's pretty much everything that's outside, let's go inside then there's also a welcome mat there but nothing special but all those items we, we've collected and we've installed them in the house and there are lots more inside here but uh, it generally tends to be a bit laggy when you first enter um, right so what have we got we've got a couple of fish we've got a perfect pike we've got a 40 pound salmon look at the size of that fish it's got a beak on it it shouldn't have beaks um, We've got a Uruk helmet with stuffed crab. 
Um, and those scary noises, if I turn up the, uh, the music a bit, um, let's let's, this is going to be really loud now, I apologise for it. And that's a Balrog cursing at us. Um, so yeah, a uh, Anuk guy that had loads of crows, we killed him, stuffed his crow. Painting of a watchful goblin, if you pay attention his eyes will move and follow us. Um, there we go. Uh, Fazig's armour, again we killed another big Uruk and nicked his armour. High Seas Rug, we crafted that. Bit of flowers we crafted. Um, Barrel cursing again. Um, and this is probably going to be really loud, so I'll, I'll turn it down so you can actually hear me. That's probably a bit better. Um, so we've got a bit from uh, the elves there. Nice little bit. Dramatic music for a kin house, isn't it? Uh, we've got more fish, 15 pound salmon, courageous carp. That's probably still quite down now. Still down to 20. There we go. Um, Gondorian Candelabrum. Basically, it's a posh way of saying candlestick. Um, a painting of Weathertop. We have kegs, which I'm not going to show you in this episode. Otherwise, it's it's going to end bad. Um, or maybe I should. Uh, Gervin's head, that's one ugly orc, as you can see. Um, a magnificent minnow, that's a tiny little fish that one, isn't it? Uh, someone's... <laughs> God, that power rock's loving his insults. Um, a roaring sign painted by somebody who's not as skilled as uh, the Weathertop painter. Um, this needs to be seen, so I'll zoom out. Um, Go back to the shadow! Yeah, you tell him, Gandalf. Um, there's a mushroom. Let's try eating a bit of it. A bit of that. Oh, disgusting. I hope you're going to clean that up, Tristana. Vomited on the floor. You shall not pass! Ah, oh, dirty girl. Um, what else have we got? We've got heraldry painting. Uh, we've got a painting of a watchful walk. Again, the eyes are going to move around. Just uh, wait so you can see that again. Go on, eyeball. <laughs> move, eyeball. I command you to move. There we go. Um, bookcase. Bit of a weird design, that one. I've uh, got another keg over there. Uh, General Talug's armour display. If I use that. Treasure hoard at the minute. Uh, don't go nicking his his treasure. He gets really angry about it. Um, and don't pet him either, because you see what happens when you pet him. He, he's not happy about it. Ah, he set me on fire. Run away. Um, yeah, he's he's not friendly. He's not particularly house trained. Just leave him alone. Don't nick his treasure, or he will kill you. Um, got a map table here as well with various maps and objects on them. Um, there's also a starry chandelier over there. Um, but that's just the main room. We've got other side rooms as well. So what we've got in here. Um, lots of stuff, but there's so many names floating around. Uh, great golden mullet. Jesus Christ. A 30 pound salmon, which seems equally as big as that 40 pound salmon. Uh, another chest for storing our stuff. We've got a stuffed wolf. Um, some more flowers. You We've got shall not pass. More angry Gandalf. We've got a hobbit hole snow globe, which hopefully you can see that quite nicely. Where's the door on it? Oh, it's over here somewhere. There is no door into that hobbit house, but there's, there's a hobbit house in a snow globe there. Um, more flowers. Uh, the blind one's head. Again, more body parts and spikes. He's not a nice looking fellow, as you can see. 
Um, we got some swords off a demon. Uh, we've got a collection of fish there. Data group. Um, we've got a sturgeon group. Load of fish. Uh, a big mouth bass trophy. Uh, a golden chicken statue with a chicken doing some kind of swooning there. Uh, the arm of Lagmas, more body parts. <laughs> Trout group trophy. Um, let's go upstairs. Got a twenty pound salmon. A golden egg there on a on a stand. Uh, so I'm saying turn back, but we're going to ignore that. Some more flowers. Uh, a large round chandelier up there. Uh, Naru Hell's dress. It's looking a bit torn up. A drum. A couple of dresses there. Um, a rather disgusting looking bed. And a rug. Uh, another chest for strolling stuff. Some more flower pots. Got a little mushroom garden going there on the side there. A danger sign. A six pound uh, salmon. No, 50 pound salmon's in the house, though, that's interesting. Um, Go back to the shadow. But you can customise the uh, the floors uh, and the walls. So, what textures you have on the floor, what textures and colours you have on the uh, walls, uh, as well as um, what music you got playing in the background and all the other stuff. Um, but I can't actually show you that because this, this character is not an officer in the kinship, so they don't have permission to do that. Um, same with using the chests. Um, but there will be like, uh, in this case, there'll be stuff on the wall over there where you can just click and interact and put different things in slots to uh, customise what you want to do with your house. But we're going to go outside again. Um, so yeah, I can't show you that, but you can customise your house however the hell you like, basically. Um, and I'm just going to run across the river now to my cottage, which is that one over there. Uh, and that's my personal house. And personally, I would have preferred to have got a, a deluxe house in hindsight. But uh, when I originally started playing the game, I just bought the cheap one. Um, and I don't think there's actually one for sale, uh, a deluxe one in this place. But if there is, maybe I will upgrade. Uh, even though I've had that house for years now. But uh, what have we got over here? Well, I've got a hammock. Because hammocks are cool. So I could have a little lie down in that. There we go. Ah, there we are. Just the height of comfort there. Sleep there all, all day. Or all night, because it's night time at the minute. But uh, we've got stuff to do, so get up there, Tristan. Um, I've planted some kind of tree. It's a birch. Um, again, more body parts. I've got a K-Rog's arm. Uh, a seasonal banner. Uh, there's not much space to put stuff outside my house because it's only a small house, this one. Um, so I think that's all that there is out here. Let's have a look inside. Um, so there is a chair. And I can actually properly sit on the chair if this works. There we go. Oh, hopped on the chair. There we go. sit on the chair. It looks like the naughty step how I'm looking there at the minute. But uh, if there's a proper chair for sitting you can sit properly. I'm tapping my knee there. Um, doesn't necessarily work on every chair because it needs to be a special type of chair you can actually sit in. Uh, but the housing ones certainly work like that. I've uh, got a dresser, an academics table. I'll be able to use this chest because it's my own house. But can't see it because I've got the UI turned off. That's going to give us tool tips about storage. And we can see what I've got in there. I've got another disgusting bed. Um, I've got a Sambrog's helm. Another drum. Morton's gemstone. Uh, I've got another stool. Can you sit on that? I want to see you jump up on that bar stool if that's possible. Let's see if you can uh, manage that. Go on. Jump attack. Oh! It shrunk the bar stool. That's cheating. Um, but yeah, I can I can do that. Um, but that's still pretty big for him for a man, really. I mean, I know it's a bar stool and it's meant to be quite high, but still, 
Um, so yeah, that's that. That's the tour of uh, the two houses that I own. Um, and if I bring up the map, we should have a map of the homesteads. So we came in over there, uh, and my kinship house is this one, and my personal house is this one. Um, so you can see all the roads, what they're called, where the houses are, um, but in the centre of the Bree Town we've got like the Market Square if you want to call it that, and that's where we need to go for our quest, so let's get this episode back on track. Um, we needed to talk to Bill Twiggins, who I believe should be in this house and not where that's pointing us. Um, is in the Market Square, the Bree Homestead, so yeah, he should be in this place. So How we do that, can I be of service? and he's going to give us a birch tree and some random bits and pieces, so let's take a red chair, maybe. I could put those in my house if I were to buy a house, um, if I was a new player. Uh, there's also a vault keeper in there if you need to do some vaulty stuff. Um, and some people for buying and selling the uh Oh you're looking for something, friend. The rest potions to cure you and other bits of rubbish. Um which I could sell my stuff to, but I'm not in too much of a Hello, hurry to do friend. that at the moment. Can I help you with something? I imagine my bags, yeah, are getting pretty full. I think we'll do that in Staddle. Um There's also and this is not gonna apply to me, but there is some skirmish uh, trainers and stuff over here but we won't get involved with skirmishes until we're level 20 so you'll have to wait until then to learn more but um, for now all you need to know is you can do some skirmishy bits in here um, so we want to find our way out now so we need to go to the north east of town uh, as you go past the houses, it will give you the address and it will tell you whose home it is as well. Um, in case you're looking for a particular friend's house. Home of Baradox here. I think that's a mammoth tusk, isn't it? Yeah, a giant mammoth tusk. Um, but obviously, people will diff uh, decorate their house differently. And some housing things are really easy to get, and some things are really hard to get, and that might require you to. Uh, a specific 12 or 24 man boss and pray it drops because they don't always drop some of these items. Sometimes they're incredibly rare. Um, but anyway, we're going to head out of here now. And slowly but surely head back towards. Uh, no, we're not heading straight back towards Stella. We need to kill three goblins that we missed earlier. So we're going to run up to that then. Which is 500 metres, that'll take us a while. But, um, as I've mentioned previously, we do have a couple of uh, skills for travelling to our houses. So once you buy a house, you automatically have this travel to a personal house skill in your skill bar. And similarly, if you join a kinship that has a kinship house, um, you'll get the travel to kinship house uh, skill. And they're both on a one hour cooldown, and they require one travelling ration, which I'll show you my bags. Uh, it's these things, and they are they are picked up and bought from um, provisioner NPCs in towns and stuff like that. Um, some of other NPCs may sell them. In some cases, it might be sold by the supplier. But uh, if you see a, a provisioner NPC, you can bet that they will sell it. So if you need to stock up on those, always keep a full stack of those where possible. Because uh, just in case you ever need to travel, they're quite handy. Uh, so we're heading to these ruins over here, which are on the western side of the Midgewater Marshes, if I'll show you. Uh, just below the iron in Midgewater there. And we just need to kill a few more goblins, and hopefully that will send us back to Saddle and not onto that group of people in the southeast. Otherwise, I might bash my head on my keyboard. Two or three. 
you can beat number three of three. Um, I was just starting to ambush him then, but then he uh, got aggroed and came in combat. And I can't use that ambush while in combat. Just put a spanner in, that works. Chuck a jab in his backside, there we go. Uh, oh, damn you! You're gonna send us down to those guys. I hate you, quests. That's my own fault for not killing those along the way. Um, so yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna cheat. I'm just gonna cut and go there, so see you in a sec. Okay, so we're back again. I've just handed in that quest. And unfortunately, he's given us another quest to kill sappers. Uh, so we're gonna have to find those suicide bombers and kill them all. But I've just seen some tin, so... Tin first. Kill goblins later. There certainly should be quite a few around here, so it shouldn't be too hard. One. That'd be number two. I missed him. over there. That big arrow above him saying, you're next matey. <laughs> well he dropped his bomb and it wasn't going to go off. So that's three of eight. Uh, no goblins with bombs. There's one. Um, now, unfortunately, although we are in water, it doesn't quite work like that. We can still be on fire in the water. Um, we can't. Just, we can't stop, drop, and roll. Um, there's another one. So some copper though. This is quite deep water because we're kind of drowning at the moment. Um, he's dropped the bomb on himself. Well done. Butterfingers. Uh, that's five. There's one over here. I don't want to stroll too far away from those quest guys because knowing my luck it will probably send me back there again. But there is tin. My uh, line tracking has come off so I'll turn that back on. Um, two more. Quite deep water for a hobbit. Maybe a man can walk through that. An elf, but for hobbits and dwarfs, we're a bit shorter of stature, so uh, water is a bit deeper for us than it is for other races. Um, there's one. Seven of eight. Just need one more. Where are you, last bomber? There we go. And that's pretty much brought us back where those quest guys are, so if we need to hand into these guys, it's not too far to run. Eight of eight, wonderful. And yes, talk to Bill Mossfoot, it is one of these guys. Um, but there's a bit of copper there, we'll pick that up. Ooh! Ooh! What I've got in my bags, I've found a lockbox. Um, I, I might be able to get something out of that. 
Ah, I've got a free year gift box, which if I open that, is going to conveniently give me free steady steel keys. But let's talk. Let's hand this in before I talk about that. Um, wonderful. That is the quests. So right, we're heading back to Staddle, uh, and we have 750 meters to start talking about block boxes. And ignore the goblins that are chasing us. I'll just auto run. But um. When you kill stuff, there is a small chance that you can find something which is completely lost in my bags. Well, it's not my bags, is it? It's in here. Um, take it out of my bags. There we go. There is a small chance when you kill stuff or loot a box, um, you can find some kind of loot box. And these are more or less... Um, level restricted. Uh, so you need to be at least level 10 to use the bronze one, then the next one's level 20, then level 30, and so on and so forth, a bit like that. Um, but it's only a minimum level, there's no maximum level. But um, if you open those, you can hopefully find some goodies in there. Um, and odds are that the higher level boxes will give you something more valuable or rarer. Um, but yeah, it, it's all down to luck. You might get something absolutely amazing or it might be something absolutely crap. But um, I've got free free keys um, as part of my free year reward for the game. Um, but Tristana hasn't used those yet because she's a new character. So let's take that tin. Now these keys, again, there is a small chance that you can find them by killing mobs and stuff in the world. Um, but they are even rarer than the boxes. But you can also buy them in the Lotto store. I think they're 100 turbine points each. But uh, these three ones that I've got, they're bound to this character, so I've got nothing to lose with opening that box. So I might as well do that. So, uh, where have you gone, box? Right click on that. I select the box to unlock. Well, I've only got one, the bronze bound box. Apply that. Proceeding will consume your key. Yes, I know that. Click yes. Uh, and we have a weakened runestone of crackling fury. So if I was a rune keeper, I would be salivating over that, that right now. Um, but I'm not a rune keeper, so that's that's a bit unfortunate. Um, however, in the bank, I have loads of bits and pieces that Tristana can now use now that she's beyond level 10, um, which are amazing bits that a warden could use. So I will be probably using that. Um, I don't know, maybe even this episode if we hurry up. Um, five tomes of defence, they are quite useful. It reduces the damage we take for an hour and a half. So that's particularly useful for uh, doing group content at the end game. They're quite handy. So, not bad, not bad. Might be able to give that to one of my other little baby characters that I hadn't really leveled yet. Um, running a bit too far though. We'll talk to Eldo Swapmage. Here will give us something to do, and there is loads of crafty bits oh, to pick up. Whoa, it's me! Oh, where is me? Why are you whoa? We've we've hooked you up with the uh, the Hobbit Widow ID. You should be happy. Um, unless she poisoned her husband, and you're now in trouble. Um, there is that to think about. Uh, so we need to. Oh, there's a gentleman running past. What's your name? Björgir, friend of the mark. So he sounds like he's uh, from Rohan. Um, well, his title sounds like he's from Rohan. I think Björg is a very Rohanish name. Um, right, so running towards Staddle then. Uh, and again, my stance is off as well. I should probably turn that back on. Yeah, once we've uh, done the Staddle quest, and I think there probably is still another quest or two to go, um, the next place to logically go would be Bree. But um, something you may or may not have noticed already is that the quests, if you do quests on your level, you will come across quests which will send you on to the next appropriate place or places to level. So in our case, you remember earlier we had quest to go into Staddle, which we've done, and we had a quest to go into Bree. 
Um, so if you ever get stuck, you've probably got a quest telling you where is the next place to go, so you don't have to annoy people by going, where do I quest now? Because if you just do quest at your level, it will tell you where to go, basically. Um, it's fairly simple like that. Um, so right, we've got a quest hand in there. Greetings. You're going to give us a spear which is rubbish, or a cloak which is rubbish. Uh, and a bracelet, which is actually good, so we'll take the bracelet. I don't have enough room, damn it. Um, I don't care about a dormouse. Stay a moment. If I right click over that, it should replace the wheel bracelet, which I don't care about. Uh, bring Red Weed's report to Second Watcher Heathstraw. Well, he's in Bree. That's telling me that my bags are full and I've got items which are hidden in my bags because there's no room in there. Um, so we've got to give the uh, the uh, the cure to the dog. It's terrible. Just terrible. What's terrible? That's exactly the same as the stuff I've got, so I'm not fussed too much about that. Um, I hope it's not a ding! We are level 13. Talk to Lily Underhill at her farm. Quest available, destination Breeland. You are well on your way to becoming a hero of Middle Earth. It's time to head for Bree. So just in case you've got lost. Um, but I think everyone gets that. Not just people who are questing in Breeland. So uh, that's another one to tell us where we need to go. And at the minute we've worked out that the well is kind of... Uh, well, not poisoned, but corrupted, dirty, horrible water. Um, so Lily has an idea on how we might cure that. And I probably should have emptied my bags before we left town again, but whatever. Um, that's that Bjergo again. Oh, he's a burglar who doesn't look very burglarish. I always think that burglars need to be hobbits, not men. Men burglars just look weird. Hobbit burglars are where it's at. That's what Bilbo was. Um, what do you need? Might I speak with you a moment? So Lily says something completely irrelevant and sends us straight back to town. Damn you, wench! Um, but I can probably get rid of a load of this rubbish that's in my bags at the moment. There's another fellow warden just ran past us there. So yeah, actually, I think while we're in town, I'm empty my bags and uh, do a bit of crafting to turn those ores into ingots and the hides into levers and stuff. But I'll do that off camera so you don't get bored, and I'll pick up a few shortly. Okay, so we're back again, and I've crafted loads, and my bags are looking very nice and empty now. Um, and we need to get some water from this well. Um, and I'm just going to force it to track this quest because it's it's not going to work. There's no quest pointing towards this one. Just as well, I know where it is though, isn't it? Um, so it does tell you where to go. It tells you to go east from the town along the road to Widow Froghorn's farm is probably just about visible. Uh, where are we are. Yeah, it's that one, isn't it? And go south from there to Constable Bulger's house, which is down behind here, and southeast of his house. There's his house, and you go southeast of that, and it's over there somewhere. But uh, just be careful when you're carrying buckets and things like that. If uh, things start attacking you, that blue bar can end up going down a lot faster than normal, or you can end up dropping it completely, depending on uh, what it is you're carrying and what the rules are. So basically, if you're carrying something, you don't want to drop it. But there's that spring, so let's come around here. Silver well. 
And there is the lady. Give her the bucket. And she's upset about that. What can I do for you? Greetings, friend. Will you lend me and your she ear? tells us we need to go collect some flowers. Which is now going to take us back into these woods and somewhere near the big tree. Which is there. That should be a load of flowers we can collect. Now, bear in mind, all the boars and uh, bears are going to want to roar and... Well, pigs don't roar, but you know what I mean. We've been through this before. Like they, they're kind of like making noises at me. Threatening to attack. So if we're just a bit tactical about how we go pick these up. Try and stay at maximum distance. And we should be able to pick these up fairly easily. Without having to get ourselves into combat. Wonderful. Right. If we take these flowers back to Willow Song. And she should send us back to Staddle with something nice to put in the world to make the, uh, the water a bit better. Greetings to you. These flowers should cleanse the Mind water. My words, traveller. There we go. So now we get the bucket. And we take the bucket back to the well. All's well that ends well. Lovely pun. Um, and you will notice there are loads of puns like that throughout the uh, quest names in Lotro. But sadly, we can't run at super speed. There's that Bjerge again. Um, and also we can't do things like um, pick up ore and wood while we're carrying stuff. Because our hands are full, so uh, you know, it makes sense, but it's annoying if uh, you find something really nice that you want to mine, but you can't mine. So in my case it's tin, but the amount of tin I've been finding while recording these is ridiculous. Um, so my tin supplies are now fantastic. Uh, but something else that also happened uh, while I was crafting off camera is that I've now managed to complete my mastery of the apprentice tier. I'm a master at this level. Um, so we're now all ready to go on the journeyman level but uh, the journeyman ores we can't find those at the minute because there's none on the east side of Bree but there's loads on the west side of Bree which we will shortly be uh, starting to explore once we've uh, been all around Bree Town itself. There we go, put the nice water in the well. Talks to the man. Please slash leave Hobbit. Me to my sorrow. Um that's rubbish, but I'll take it anyway. Um So yeah, that's everything apart from going into Bree now. Um got another quest in Bree there. So we've got four quests to go into Bree. Um, See, so yeah, I think we'll just go position ourselves. Um, we'll start by the Comb Gate because there's several ways into Bree itself. We could have gone just west of Staddle. Uh, there's a road into Bree along there, but we're going to come in via Comb because that's just where we've got some quests and stuff. Um, which is this great big huge gate over here. But uh, Bree is a really huge town. Um, certainly the biggest one that you're going to find at lower levels but um, I don't want to go exploring too much because it's going to need a whole episode of itself just to give you the tour and show you all the nice little cool bits and pieces they've added because they uh, in the last year they've revamped Bree so it looks better and it's got more more stuff going on. Um, so there's loads of little, uh, not so much secrets, but like little easter eggs that you can find that are quite amusing. Um, but I think we'll stop here then, and next episode we shall do the tour of Bree, so see you then.